welcome back to another video. So today we are here visiting the Great Stupa of Universal Compassion. I'm pretty sure I got that correct. I've been studying it, but behind me there's this crazy temple and it actually cost them 20 million to build, which is insane. We're here to visit it. We're with House family. So if you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Let's go check it out. If you guys are actually wondering why we are here, um, it's because my family are Buddhist and uh, we are checking out this really, it's actually a really crazy Buddhist temple like we had to drive how far do we have to drive then two hours so I feel like this is gonna be the equivalent to like visiting the big Buddha in Thailand or the um, Tian Buddha in Hong Kong because it's crazy here because they got all this cool stuff like oh my god this is the elephant that I thought was gonna be much bigger but it's that one over there yeah. yeah, and it's still under renovations as well. So I reckon in like the next year or two, it's gonna be all done, and I reckon it's gonna look really, really pretty. I can hear a little dog, but I, I want to find it. Let's go find this dog. <laughs> yeah, let's go find a dog. So um, we found the dog, <laughs> and you were so cute. <laughs> That's why I love you, dog. Yeah, Oh my god, it's so <laughs> Imagine the owner comes back. Yeah. <laughs> and we're filming your dog. This temple is so sick. Look at this. Look at the dogs. This is weird, but I feel like we should have bought honey and biggie, but I think you can come bring them in here to get blessed. Yeah, look. Walking around, chilling. That looks like a fat piggy, but white. Yeah. Just got back from Bendigo and um, I'm back here at the office by myself. That's okay, doesn't really bother me. Uh, I've got a lot of work that I need to get done. So I, I want to get it done now because as you guys know in the last vlog, I'm getting my car on Monday. I've been waiting for my car for nearly seven months now and it's getting ridiculous. And, then, and at the end of the day, I, I knew it was a really, really long process. All the things that I wanted to get to, done to my car very tedious if you guys are car people um my car got a full engine rebuild so i literally upgraded everything in the engine i got a lot of custom intercooler piping done i got a custom intake done a custom exhaust done i got a new turbo done i got a new in everything from the cold side to the hot side of the car is all brand new every single nut and bolt in the engine bay and it is running drivetrain, everything is going to be brand new. I've got new interior, I've got new suspension, I've got everything ready to go into the car. So I'm so super, super, super excited about that. If you guys don't already know, my, my other passions is cars. Cars is one of my main passions. But um, I was gonna print out a whole bunch of um, packing stuff. I've gotta pack as many orders as I can now because on Monday, I really wanna spend as much time as possible just working on my car and just enjoying working on my car. I'm going to show you guys some other stuff as well, so let's move over here. Over here we have the final, completed, all the new cocaine stuff that is coming out on the next season. And I'm so freaking excited. So this was the jumper. That is how big the print was supposed to be. They fixed the print up here. They fixed the hood. They fixed this. This is perfect, ready to roll. Another thing that they were supposed to fix was this that made the collar thicker as you guys can see so this collar here isn't just not not a normal collar so it's a high top collar so if you guys can measure against my finger it has the logo there which is perfect but what I changed was this right here so now there's a tag there and the logo this is really good that worked out well uh, Philly's unisex oversized top long sleeve as well right here. Now they have made uh, the, the collar as well, the turtleneck as well, very small. As you guys can see, it needs to droop down like this. And they have removed the back hem. So now it's a one piece and now this is right down the middle, which is perfect. Plus, see this is the hard thing. You guys don't see this. You guys don't see the pain, the effort that we go through. With all the samples, getting new samples, getting a whole bunch of other things to make this work and, and it's, it's annoying. But this is why I want to be two to three months in advance so I don't have to keep playing around with these samples. Um, 
right here is the final product of the cargo pants these look so good on I changed the strap if you guys can see this strap right there it's the um, it's the Japanese waves these pockets are super oversized I want them to be able to carry everything in the side pockets so you have no front two pockets you have the two massive cargo pockets and the two in the back um, and then everything else is done and fixed um, these had little alterations as well it's more drop shouldered now as you guys can see just of it hanging on the hanger the shoulders don't end here they actually end here now and it makes the length of the sleeve longer really nice little things that I really wanted to uh, make sure that everything worked this was one of the major ones if you don't know is the uh, the new tracksuit pants these are, I call them trackies but the the cotton on it is not tracksuit cotton so now this is three times or four times bigger which is good anyway guys I want to start talking to you guys I actually need to do some work because tonight I'm DJing um, last night I DJed as well I haven't been DJing as much as I do now in a while because I took a lot of time off of DJ and as you guys know I only DJ for clubs that my friends own now I'm sort of just DJing everywhere again um, I'm gonna tell you guys a little story after I print out everything and we'll go sit down there Got a long road ahead of me. Oh, do have a long road ahead of me, to be honest. But um, I'm gonna tell you guys something about uh, DJing that a lot of people don't know. Uh, the five things that you guys don't know. Um, I, I I do love DJing. I've been DJing for a while now, and um, but you guys don't know that we sit there sometimes and just watch time go by because we look at the tracks and we can see the numbers and we just count the time and we're always looking at our, our laptop six screens or the CDJ screens and it has the time on it and sometimes three hour sets go for so freaking long that's one thing I really don't like when it, when it becomes really really painful like that um, the second thing I don't like is driving from one club to another but then playing at one club for too long is very draining as well. Uh, number three, uh, DJ politics. DJ politics, it, it sounds like not even a thing, but trust me guys, I have a lot of friends that own clubs, so they always use that friendship card on me and, and I always get sucked in because I'm a good friend and, and I just want to do right by my friends. So if they need me to play, even though like it's against other policies, even though I don't get paid a exclusive rate, um, I will still help my friends out and DJ there and and sometimes it's hard to get the the going rate that you want um, I honestly get paid about a hundred to hundred and fifty dollars an hour um, and I try to play three hours Friday and Saturday nights um, so it, it is good money I, I have to admit it, it is really really good money um, but sometimes like lately I just don't care about it anymore because it's something that I, I'd rather sleep I'd rather just spend my time with Philly at night now and um I'm just trying to build a life for me and Philly that, that I don't have to do this on Saturday nights. I really don't. Um, I, I want to be able to just have someone do all this, build some businesses that make very good passive income. And Philly loves to travel. I love to travel as well. We like to explore the world. And I sort of like getting inspiration from everywhere else. And that's something I want to do more often and more freely and not have the headache of finances and and being financially stable is something I'm really working towards from. Um, so let's quickly smash these out. Um, I got 55 orders in the last day, so gotta smash these out. Gotta smash them out, gotta smash them out. I really don't wanna do this. I really don't. I really fucking don't. Jesus. See, this is the parts that you don't see. That you just see success and all that crap, but I'm just struggling, bro. Guys, this is all done now. This is 
is the whole box of orders that I just packed. Um, there's about 50 in there, 50 or more, actually probably like 60. All the mess that I always make and right now it is, let's go, 9-11 on a Saturday night. Oh. Well, this is the end of the vlog guys. I actually want to just edit it tonight. So um, tomorrow because we have a big day tomorrow. Actually, we don't have a big day tomorrow. It's Sunday and I really just don't want to go back into the office tomorrow just to edit this vlog. I just want to give a big shout out to where you try I'm going to go to everyone right here for commenting. I appreciate you guys. If you guys want to be featured on this comment bit, I haven't done it for a while, um, but shout out to you guys. Thank you for commenting so freaking much. Um, I'm just going to enjoy this coffee. I'm enjoying a coffee at 9 p.m. on a Saturday night. Go figure, hey? Shout out to you guys. Thank you. Thank you so much for the support and everything like that. Can you guys please do me one big favor? Let me know down in the comments below once again what you guys want to see from us. Sorry for the podcasters have not been on time. Uh, just because Philly's been working on her embroidery and filming a podcast while she's working is very hard because all I hear in the background is do 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 and that sound is just crazy. But I will be filming a podcast on Monday, um, so it comes out on the Monday as well. Um, I will show you guys a little teaser as well of what's coming out. You guys have asked, um, uh, what's it called, us to do more of uh, Philly's Cooking with Philly. Uh, I think I've officially got to call it Cooking with Philly. I'll show you guys right here. This is the animation that got made just for Philly, as you guys can see. So we're gonna be doing a segment, no, none of this wee business. Philly's gonna be doing a segment on uh, this video, this video, this channel called Cooking with Philly. It's gonna be either on a Tuesday or Thursday, the days that we don't have vlogs coming out. One of those days, Philly will have a video coming out. So what we want to do is, uh, Monday will be the podcast, Tuesday maybe cooking with Philly, Wednesday will be a normal vlog, Thursday will be a day off, Friday will be a vlog, Saturday I'm gonna be releasing a new thing called uh, sne Sneaker Sessions. So technically I wanted to call the Sneaker Sessions Saturdays. That's probably what the name that's going to be. So I'm gonna be talking about fashion, sneakers, culture, a whole bunch of stuff like that. Then on Sundays we'll have a vlogs. But also I wanna fit in my car videos as well because you guys want to see my car builds as well. And I also wanna film them, those just because that's something I purely, purely wanna see. So actually the new schedule sooner or later, we're gonna to try to build it. I'm gonna do it again, so I'm super annoying to you guys and to myself. Monday uh, will be, uh, Monday will be podcast. Tuesday will be cooking with Philly. Wednesday will be a vlog. Thursday will be um, car video. Friday will be vlog. Saturday will be um, sneaker videos. Sunday will be vlog. So we'll be giving you guys back again, seven videos, seven days. Freaking awesome. Thank you guys, I appreciate you guys. Do me one favor, one actual favor for for the thousand, one, 1 1.2, 1 1.3 thousand people that watch us on the daily. Can you guys please do me one favor? Help us grow this channel by sharing it on your Facebook, on your Instagram, tag us, share with your friends, tell us people to subscribe because we are trying to hit the 50,000 mark by the end of the year and I can't do it without you guys. Please help us. Peace.